Back now to our top story today. New details in a very disturbing murder case in San Carlos. What we've now learned about the mother of two who was beheaded right in front of her home. Yeah, we now know the name of this 27-year-old mother of two who was brutally killed, police say, by her ex-boyfriend. Crown Force Hazik Medyun has the story. I miss her already. My heart is empty without her. She was my best friend. I miss her. I just want I miss her. Tears began to fall as <laughs> Martin Castro watched Redwood City firefighters hose down the location where the body of his daughter, 27-year-old Karina Castro, was found Thursday here on Laurel Street in San Carlos. Deputies with the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office arrested her boyfriend, 33-year-old Jose Salano Landetta, as the primary suspect for her murder. I didn't like him from day one. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he came into her life. Martin Castro says Jose Salano Landetta was the father of one of Karina's two small children. When she got pregnant by him, my heart dropped. On Friday, investigators with the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office say they recovered what they believe is the weapon, a stabbing instrument used to kill Karina Castro. So when the incident happened, where were you? Were you sitting here? I was still sitting here. Her next door neighbor says that he was at home at the time she was killed. So you saw him, you saw him take off, and then I guess you kept walking to see what was going on, and yeah. eventually you got to the scene. Describe what you saw. I saw the lady laying down. The report was that she was beheaded. Like, so did you, is that accurate? Did you see a... Yeah. How did it make you feel to see something like that? i never seen something like that before. Oh, I believe God, but things happen like that. After the blood was washed away, the grieving father returned the flowers and candles, marking the location where his daughter died. Have you even been, began to process what justice would be for your daughter in this case? I don't feel he should continue breathing. I think the death penalty would be perfect for him. A representative with the San Mateo County District Attorney's Office told me to expect more information about Landetta possibly being arraigned in connection to this homicide on Monday. In San Carlos, Hazik Medyun, Cron 4 News.